What's up, YouTube? Jay yeah, get back again. And today we got EA Sports UFC 4. And we got a fight between Pretty Boy Jay Bananka and Ferocious Henry Waters. This man was tough. Submission specialist. Tried to take me down a million times in the first half of this fight. This guy, all he wanted to do was be on the mat. And in the end, he got his wish. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help the channel grow, please share the video. With all that being said, let's get on to the video and I'll see you next time. Peace. Coming up next, a UFC Bantamweight Joke. Here we go, boys. Here we go, boys. This young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop him. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore. This guy is a takedown specialist. I gotta, I gotta defend, I gotta defend, I gotta defend the takedown. The fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. I gotta hurt him before he even get, takes me to the ground. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. He's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance uh, Next dream or after that, that I can get a gift card. All these Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you probably, yeah, yeah, close, 2200. Kicks, jumping high kicks, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the day for this bantamweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, one loss. He stands five feet. This guy's 17 and one. At 134 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Ferocious. Ferocious Henry Waters. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of five wins, two losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Pretty boy! Pretty boy, Jay Bananka! Let's go, baby! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata! You ready? the heck was that? Are ready to go for round one with the winning streak intact. Here he is. He won his last fight by decision. So the focus tonight, the finish. A finish would certainly be useful for him as he tries to take his career to the next level. We'll Whoa. He can continue the momentum here tonight. Yet another combination is good. All right, here we go. Early round one. Going to be very interesting to see how long this fight stays upright given the fact that he is so good with his ground game and submissions. He has to try to find a way to get to the mat. Even if he just drives in the takedown just to fall back to his back and start a grappling exchange. This is where he needs to be. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Back to the feet now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plus. 
power shot there. It looks like Pac-Man has taken so many strikes to the head. Another one. Yep. Up and the left hand. Just over three minutes to go. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Big head kick. Just misses with the jab there. Look out, he's right his hip into that leg kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. He missed with that jab attempt there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. That's a big strike right there. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively. Oh, oh I got to get up. As he finally gets the takedown, he stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he is. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedown and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top? Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing. Come on, get up! Round two is next. I almost knocked that dude out. He kept taking me down. I couldn't defend the takedown though. The highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was gonna be a way for him to take control Oof. of this fight. He's used. I gotta block those. I gotta block those kicks. Your opponent was stunned in the previous round, and their health may be low. Keep the pressure on, and you, with your strike and try to finish them. Okay. Okay, I will, I will. DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next those, round. Those leg oh, kicks are oh, legit. Landed in the previous round and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kicks, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Punch no good. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive through <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. Come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Dig and kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, wow. doing great work. Damn! Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Oh! Damn it! And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, he hurt a bad with a jab. Ah! Wow! What a fight! Oh! And the right to close the combination! Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. 
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. 30 seconds to go in the round. Whoa! All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, what a high, fight high. so far. I thought I had him. I thought I had him. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see Ooh. the end of the round. DC talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, Ooh. he's in oh, I don't kill that guy. Oh my god. How is this guy alive? Dude, I hit that guy with so many shots. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice punch lands over the top. Slips the punch nicely there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. See, now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for Kimura here. Oh, big left. Back to the feet. Well, Whoa! Dude, about time. Jeez. Let's go, baby. Just some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay Ooh. guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm. Damn. He on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbow. Oh, I should have kicked him in the face while he was going down. Pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by... Nanko! Pretty boy, Jay Bonanko! The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I gotta think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout. But he was never hopeful. He was sure that he would get it done, and he did exactly that. Strap.